Hey there Riddle 5th graders, welcome to another video art lesson. Today we're going to make a little abstract design and to do that I have my art card. I am going to start with a curvature of a line like so. Next I'm going to make actually one, one, two, three, three and a half lines, one, two, three. So I'm going to go ahead and go and make another one. It's going to curve through here. So there's three full lines. One, two, three. They go all the way through. I'm going to create a fourth line here. There you have it. Now each one of these lines, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make it look like a pencil. I'm going to make curved lines. Kind of like bumps. That reminds me of some Dr. Seuss sort of thing. Now I'm going to choose a colored pencil and I'm going to do a gradation with two different colors. I'm going to use a teal and a sky blue. With the teal I'm going to do a gradation. I'm going to press hard. I mean the sky blue. I'm going to do a little gradation on it. I'm going to do that on every other one. On the gradation, I am going to lighten up in the middle. I'll show you one second here. So I'm doing the sky blue first. I'm going to press hard and then I get light in the middle. So I pressed harder on the sides and I got light as I got in here. So it's going to be lighter in the middle like the light is shining on it. Now I'm going to use the teal and go in between every other one. And press hard and I'm going to get lighter. It's kind of neat. Kind of neat looking. So I'm choosing two colors that are near each other on the color wheel, so my teal and the, the baby blue are kind of close. So next I'm going to do another set of colors. This set of colors, um, I want to use purple and mauve. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by making those lines that I did. I kind of try to do the same amount of lines. Maybe a couple more. There's those lines. I'm going to start with my blue. No, wait. Is it blue or purple? I should use purple. Here's purple. Okay, I'm going to go with it. Do a little gradation action here. Okay, here it is. Next, I'm going to do the mauve. Kind of like a pink looking color. And I'm just, and I just color on the sides and I leave that middle of it a little white so it looks shiny, I guess. 
maybe it'll look like it's sticking up, like things that are raised up, that light's going to hit it first, so it kind of makes it shiny. That looks like that. Cool. Next, I'm going to move on to kind of a reddish and purplish. I'm going to use red and I'm going to use red orange. Let's see if I can see a difference in the red and red orange. So first I got to make my curves. That. Then I choose my red and I start to color again. Darker on the sides. Okay, that's red. I don't need to use red orange. Oopsie. Kind of cool. Next, I'm going to go into some orange. Do some orange and, and a deep gold. And I'm going to hit my curves first. Okay, we'll start with some orange, I guess. Okay, and then I'm going to do the yellow, the gold, the golden, same thing here. Looks like this, cool. See that, leaving that little bit of white makes it look shiny there. So after orange, then I'm going to do a yellow. Mm. I'm going to use a yellow and um, a mustardy orange. I don't know. That's what I'll try. What two colors are going to look good? We'll try it. So I'm going to do the yellow first, the golden. Oh no, I messed up. Damn. You gotta pay attention. I did two a little bit of yellow together. Two of them. Shapes right by each other. Which I can go over with this brand anyway. And I was gonna go over some orange too, because it's brown. I'm not sure if I like it.
Um, if you mess up and color the wrong one, be careful. I'm going to put some orange on it too. Brighten it up, make it seem like it belongs here. Okay, next, I'm going to do a green, a dark green and a lime green, I think. No, it's okay. Okay, a lime green. Ooh, a lime green and a lime green? This is a different looking lime green. Could use yellow and mix some yellow in the lime green. Ones that are a little different. They have to be a little different. That's all we need. Yeah, they're different. Color pencils sure work better when they are just have a little sharpness to them. They get all flat and it's hard to control. Okay, it looks a little messy. Next, I gotta do a dark green. Dark green, a good dark green, and a good nice lime green. Make my curves here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do a dark blue and a dark green. That's what I'm. That's what I'm due for. Dark blue and dark green. Yep, that's what I need to do. So it's kind of like a little rainbow effect here. Kind of neat. Never really did this before. Ever. In my life. So there's something different to do here today. And that is what is great about art. You can do so many different things. There's always a different way to do something or to use and think about colors. So there's my blue. One more color down. One more color. Dark green. So the idea is you just try your best, see what happens, relax, have fun with it. The biggest thing that I want is that you enjoy yourself a little bit here. Art should be a release, a break, something that you kind of have fun with and get away from your, whatever's on your mind. Whatever's on your mind. There it is. Here's mine. I look forward to seeing yours. Post that, share it. Let's see how it turns out. Good luck.